So what I'm looking at right now is this is a tussock of Carolina wiregrass. Carolina wiregrass is has been described as probably the the keystone species of the longleaf pine um, forest because this plant is what helped carry low intensity fires through the longleaf pine habitat. Uh, I mentioned earlier that longleaf pines are adapted uh, in many ways to survive fire, which would eliminate competing species. But this burns very well, and uh, it's been also described as an incendiary plant because it it uh, it carries the fire so well. But it also depends on fire uh, for its survival. Um, it eliminates uh, competing plants that would shade it out. It likes to have plenty of sun. You'll notice here these are some uh, what's left from from the uh, the seed the the seed producing part of the plant from last year. I have I have read that. Uh, wiregrass, Carolina wiregrass, will only produce fertile seeds if it's burned during the growing season. Now this area that where we're in now, we burned this in January of last year, January of uh, 2019. So although it produced some flower heads and seeds, the seeds may not be fertile. However, um, after doing what we've what we call a uh, hazard reduction burn, reducing fuel within this burn unit that we're in right now, um, we plan to switch over to doing growing season burns only, probably during the month of May or early June. And when we do that, it will produce flowers and hopefully fertile seeds that will help to, uh, to um, allow the seeds to germinate and regenerate continue to regenerate the wiregrass in some of the areas we've got here in the park. So one of the, um, we're standing in a cluster of plants around us, and this is one of the uh, plants that, that we commonly see in the Longleaf Pine Forest. Um, this is actually a member of the pea family. It's, it's a legume and it's called uh, dwarf locust. The scientific name is Robinia nana. Now they grow in colonies and it's thought that they really don't reseed themselves that much. Although as you can see here, it is in bloom right now. It's got beautiful uh, pinkish flowers on there. And, um, but they're mainly gonna grow by spreading out underneath on the forest floor. And that's one, one way that fire can come in because fire will top kill the plants, but they've got rhizomes growing underneath where they can spread out and pop up. Um, so this is one of the plants that you'll see in the Longleaf Pine Forest. It's blooming here in mid-April.